For this particular grind, it's been every 20 kills. Oh, yes! Ah! Oh my gosh, yes! What? <laughs> you know, normally when we get a great one, I do a whole video kind of talking about what we've been doing with our grind and showing off some of our zones, but this time, we took our time to actually watch this great one in its natural habitat in one of its feed zones and take our time to actually get a really good look at him as well as a really good shot on him. So I figured this time we would dedicate the entire video just to looking at this great one and eventually taking him out. And the reason I decided to do this was partially because of seeing how Mel takes a look at her great ones and follows them throughout the day before actually taking them down. Huge shout out to Mel. She does an amazing job at uh, getting good looks at the great ones that she finds. And the other reason is because we finally got one of the combinations I had been wanting. This was finally, for the first time, a blade rack fallow deer. We've been after this ever since launch, and we finally managed to get one, and it just happened to have one of my top three fur types on it as well, the Fabled Silver. So, without further ado, let's take a look at it. We took a very close and good look at this gorgeous fallow deer, and I feel like you guys will enjoy the footage, so... Something else I should mention before we actually get into this video is this is Great One Fallow Deer number 7. We've had a total of around 4,500 kills amongst all fallow deer. Our RNG has been really good with them, and to be honest, I feel like it just makes up for how terrible our bear grind has been with 8,000 kills and getting literally nothing. But you may have noticed that not all seven fallow deer have been in videos. A couple I've just put in shorts because I didn't feel like making an entire video for them because I know a lot of people get very tired of seeing 90% of the videos being related to a great one or grinding. So I try to limit the grinding videos to only one per week at the most. So that's why we don't really put every single one of them in a video. But this one right here was such a cool encounter and such a sought after great one for me that I felt like it deserved it. So let's get straight into it. You're keeping it at 20? Nice, Johnny. What am I at? Let's see. How many diamonds have we got already today? I think we've had like six diamonds today. Let me calculate this. 513 uh, divided by... We've had like 25 diamonds. Yeah, I'm getting a diamond every 20 kills. For this particular grind, it's been every 20 kills. Oh, yes! Ah! Oh my gosh, yes! What? Dude, I take two seconds to go calculate. <laughs> to calculate how often we've been getting diamonds. And there's a great one. Let's go! 513 kills! And it's one of the combos I wanted! Yes! I finally got a blade rack! Oh my gosh, the timing on that! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It took me a second to realize what it was, too. I was like, oh, that's a cool looking fur. I guess we got a white fallow deer. No, that's a fabled silver! Oh my gosh, what do we take it with? What do we take it with? What do we take this one with? Oh I did. Nicholas, thank you for the super chat, dude. Dude, air rifle? We could do air rifle, yeah. There, there, uh. No, no, get rid of that. Oh my gosh. Vasquez Cyclone, let's go. It did not put it, we're doing great. Oh my gosh, okay, let's, let's turn off the music. I want to add my own music in the video. Hasn't missed any meals, has he? I know, right? Look at that chunky dude. <laughs> Look at this chunky dude. Oh my gosh, this is the first time we get to see the other weight estimate as well. 85 to 112. Oh, that's so cool. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. Okay, so I think the game plan now is going to be to try and get as close as I can, take one more picture, then run at him and snap a few photos. Oh, lift your head up. Lift your head up. This is a great pick. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, man. This is about the closest we're going to get. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I was going to die there too. 
Those does were just absolutely running me over. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's reset the time and let's stock up to get the kill. He's attentive. He's, he's calm. Well, boys, we got a stupid one. We spooked off all of... Bro, you're the only one that is this dumb. What is up with this great one? He's a little weirdo. Hello? There we go, finally. It took way too long to get him to go alert. Now let's prone up. That is pretty dumb. Yeah, he's uh, he's a dumb one. He's a dumb one. I've seen dumb great ones before, like a couple of the whitetail and one of the fallow, but this guy is like mega dumb. I feel like I'm going to pop up right in front of him. Uh, let's get zero to 50. We're not going to be taking a hundred meter shot. And with the air rifle, improper zeroing can screw you over completely. If he walked off, where is he going? Because it's not their feed time yet. It's still drink time. And he definitely walked off. They all did. Let's take this guy down in the forest. That's the other male. Which tracks are from our great one? He definitely booked it though. Yeah, he's not here. Uh, he moved over with, oh, that's rabbits. Hello. Uh, I don't know what I just witnessed. We got to find his set of tracks again. Are none of these tracks his? Wait now. That's a little strange. Uh, we got to go clear down here and grab his track, I think. This is totally their zone, right? I think this could be their zone right here. Either way, we got more tracks. What direction are they moving, though? Yep, this is their feed zone. Okay, we found the feed zone, 6 to 10. Let's take them from the feed zone. Do a little time forward to make sure they're there. Now, if we don't end up finding it this time, I think we're just going to wait at the zone for them to walk in. Because they have to walk in eventually. They have to. The, s Ugh, the wind is not good. Um, hmm. Yeah, the wind isn't great. That's not good. We will have to probably approach from a different angle. All right, we finally have circled around the wind. So now we can start moving up and see if we can find this guy. Give us elk. That's what I'm saying, man. <gasps> oh, mating call. That's got to be him, right? We got the mating call of a great one fallow deer, probably. Probably him, I would say. What is the best time to hunt a uh, croc? Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> they have arrived at their zone. Finally. We can finally get ready to take this thing down. But of course, you guys know I got to take some picks first. It's not too often we get a uh, great one in their feed zone. Let's get this indicator off of the screen. Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, man. He's still attentive. Wow. Can I find a tree that hides me? I don't know if I'm in an area where any of this will hide me. Oh my gosh, dude. This is like the most, this is the most nervous I've been to take down a great one in a while. And there's just something about being in a feeding zone and trying to find cover to hide and get some pictures that just really, just really makes it more exciting. Cue intense music. I know, right? That's the plan. That's why we turned off the stream music. So when I do make a video on this, we can get the intense, intense music going. Uh, this hides me. Okay. Oh, oh. This hides me, but barely. Can I get around the other side and still be hidden? I'm still hidden. This is so cool. This is so sick. I want to try and loop around. They don't seem to know that I'm here, so we're going to loop around and get an even better angle. And uh, take another picture and then try to shoot it. I just got to make sure that they don't start getting alerted. 
Uh, they're pretty occupied with eating, so I think we should be good. And also, you guys told me the other day that if they're not facing you, they don't spook as easily. So hopefully if we can just get around and behind them. Oh. Oh, no. You don't see anything, I promise. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is insane. Now, all of a sudden, he's smart. I know, right? He was acting really dumb when he was in his drink zone. Now he's acting smart all of a sudden. What's up with that, man? How dare you just get smart on us? All right, let's get aimed on him. How far away? 34. Can I get up to 25? It's going to be sketch because he's been getting scared. 29. He's angled a little bit, which I don't like. Uh, this tree might hide us. Yep, this hides us. Wait, that spot? Okay, we found the sweet spot. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? When I aim, it puts the branch in my face. Here we go. Let's get him down. Lift your head up. He's going down. Great one, Fallow Deer, Blade Rack, Fabled Silver with the air rifle. Oh my gosh, that was a rush. That was a rush. I need to do this more often. We need to take more time with our great ones and truly appreciate their beauty before taking them down. Wow. I totally understand why Mel just kind of watches them a bit before shooting them now. It honestly gives you a feeling unlike any other. Just seeing that thing in front of you, like building up anticipation to the shot and making it so the longer it takes, like the more anticipation build up you have, like, oh my gosh. He's beautiful. He is beautiful. 252. Fabled Silver. Great one, Fallow Deer, with the blade rack. Finally have a blade rack in the lodge. Let's go, guys. That's so awesome. I can't believe we finally have a blade rack. This is like one of the best combos I could have ever asked for. My gosh. And it's a pretty low scoring one as well. I've seen them go clear up to like 259. This guy right here is a 252, which I'll, which is definitely on the lower end. I think the lowest I've seen was somebody got a 250.03 or something. Crazy. Let's get some cool screenshots of this guy in the trophy screen now that we got a bunch of him when he was still alive. That is a beauty, guys. Wait one second before we continue with this video. Leave a comment down below saying I made it if you have made it this far in the video. And also feel free to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content and want to see more of it in the future. And be sure to hit that bell as well. Now, let's get back to the video. And with that great one being down, I think it is time that we go check what its respawn was. And it just so happens to be a level 5. I believe this is the first time I've had a max level animal respawn from a great one, which is honestly pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take him down, though I don't think this guy's going to make it. Let's just uh, do a little bit of this. And that will be it for him. Let's go ahead and see what this guy will score. Yeah, that does not look like it's going to make it. Oh my gosh, I was wrong. This is actually the mid-size rack and not the smaller troll rack like I thought it might be. So there we have it for the first time ever in any of my grinds. We had a great one respawn as a diamond. Now obviously since we're doing herd management with the fallow deer, the chances of that are much more likely than if we weren't. So it's not a super insane thing, but it is the first time I've had it happen. So that's still really, really cool. And with our most recent great one and the diamond that respawned from it down, let's go ahead and take a look at him in the lodge. And that is definitely the coolest combination we have managed to get. This right here is an absolute beauty. Not only is it the rack that I wanted to get, but it is one of my top three fur types, which makes this a really awesome combo. Now, I definitely think that this might still be my favorite that we've killed, but at the same time, the one that we just got is very much up there as well. I honestly can't decide. Like, they're both so good. The painted big rack and the blade rack fabled silver are both phenomenal combinations. So 
let me know in the comments which one you guys think is the nicest looking. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as well as leaving a comment and a like and hitting that bell if you want to get notifications for whenever I post a video. That being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.